2020 was a good year. Before you say anything, I know 2020 was a tough year. A lot of terrible things happened this year. Actually, a lot of terrible things happened this year. But 2020 was a good year, and let me tell you why. 2020 gave us all the chance to sit down at the beginning of the year and figure out how we wanted to spend our time. We had no interruptions, we had no excuse not to learn more about ourselves, and for me, it's always been the same. It's always been singing and writing my own songs. The thing is, I've kind of been neglecting this part of my music. In the years past, I would just sing other people's songs, put them up on YouTube, and try to build a fan base that way. I'll, I'll introduce those people to my music later on. That was my mindset. But in 2020, I realized that that's not really my end goal, so why am I spending so much time doing that? Why aren't I just spending more time writing my own songs and putting them out into the world and seeing if anybody likes those? 2020 was a good year because it gave me the chance to learn who I was as a writer. If you know anything about Nashville, you know that co-writing is huge here. So when you move to Nashville, you go to all these writer's nights, you go to open mic nights, you sing your songs, come off stage, and then everybody around comes up to you and they're like, hey, here's my number, we need to write some songs together. This guy over here comes over, hey, let's write a song, let's write a song. Oh man, I think we would mesh so well together. And then you write with these people, they say, hey, I've got a friend over here, you should write with them, or we should bring them into the room. And it's great, you write so many great songs that way, and it's so fun, you meet a lot of people, and you meet all these friends, and you get to the point where you're sitting in a room, and you're thinking, how much of this song did I write? How different would this song be if it was just me? And that kind of scared me. I was kind of feeling like I had to rely on other people to write songs. And 2020, there were no excuses. I had to work on myself. I remember at the beginning of the year, people were kind of frantically calling people and saying, hey, let's do a Zoom writing session. We need to write some songs. And I said no. I just didn't think that writing on Zoom would be very beneficial to me. So what I did was I took this year and I wrote songs by myself. And I'm so happy I did. I don't, I don't think I would have done that if it weren't for 2020. I think I wrote some of the best songs that I've written so far. And I think I've grown the most that I have grown in the, like, the last four years of being in Nashville. And I'm so thankful for 2020 to have given me that chance to grow. I hope you guys had a good 2020. I know it's easy to think about the negative things that have happened this year, but think about one positive thing that's happened that's put you in a good position for 2021, because you're the only one that can make this next year great. I said it in my song about a new year, I'll link it up here or up here. Just because the numbers change, that doesn't mean it really resets. You need to want to reset the year and to make the change, to make it a great year. So I hope you guys have a great new year. Thank you for supporting the channel. Thanks for watching. And I'm feeling really good about 2021. I'll see you next year.